always wanted to be a teacher. How's that? I feel that I get to make an impact on the future. What do you think? Oh, here. A pumpkin. A pumpkin? This job is so satisfying. It's a lifestyle for me. I live, breathe my job. I came from Mexico when I was three years old. I spoke no English. It was difficult to come to a different country. I was very scared. Being in school for the first two, three years wasn't really as inclusive, there was no papers in Spanish for my mom to read. I was trying to translate for her with what little English I knew. My mother is one of my role models. And then a teacher I had when I was in second grade. She was the epitome of what a teacher was to me at the time. She spoke Spanish. She made me feel included. Does this look like you're being a little bit? Yeah. I really want everyone to feel included because I don't want them maybe to go through that experience that I went through. I want them to feel like my teacher really made that effort to connect with me. Yes. Ms. Hernandez is so special. If we suspect that a child has special needs, Ms. Hernandez goes above and beyond to help connect the family to resources and get them whatever services they need calling physicians, calling a school district, calling local agencies to make sure that the child's needs are met. One, two, three, four, five. The most rewarding part of my day is when a child has mastered something that they've been working at. And just that satisfaction that comes into their eyes, their smile, that I did it. That makes me very proud. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Jack. And what did you have for breakfast? Cookies. Education is definitely my passion. I wish you more we than me. I love teaching because it allows me to stay young. And I enjoy being with the children and learning with them, seeing the world through their eyes. Three. Three monkey bars? Yeah. Wow. Three is sweet, sensitive, and caring. What makes Brie such a great teacher is that she's thoughtful and meaningful. She has all her attention and all her heart and every answer she gives the children. Do you want it tall or you want it long? Long. Long. I decided to become a teacher because I've always loved children and as a child growing up school wasn't the easiest for me. I have a diagnosed learning disability. I didn't learn to read until fifth, sixth grade. It took a lot of support from my family and my teachers for me to learn how I learn and how to be successful. Anything, it's made me want to prove myself even more because anyone can accomplish what they set their minds to. I hope to do that for my own students, to help them figure out who they are and how they learn best. Goodbye, Yellow Subs. Goodbye, Yellow Subs. We're glad that you were here. Having a child learn something is it's amazing. Just one day out of lunch. Teaching my kids is a pleasure. It brings me so much joy. It would be so nice. This is what I'm supposed to be doing because there's so many things that have led me to this path. This is the community where I grew up. I grew up in Boyle Heights. I grew up in the 70s. In those days, there was integration, enforced busing. It was so that students from Boyle Heights and East Los Angeles be bused to more affluent schools. And the attentions were very good. When we got off the bus, there was no one there to greet us. And we see a lot of signs. We didn't understand it was a protest. As a child, I didn't understand what was happening. And then the kids were the ones that kind of figured out, hey, they don't want us here. We're not welcomed at the school. It does something to you, it does something to you. It made me 
want to become very competitive. I felt I'm not just representing me, I'm representing a whole group of people. It made me want to stay and work here in this community. I think her primary interest is having students have a quality neighborhood school. I think her deep roots in the Boyle Heights community gives her insight and motivation to really serve the students and families. Good job. Working here at Puente has been special to me and one extra special thing is that I get to work with my mother and my brother. Teaching is a family passion. I hope that I'm shaping the future here in Boyle Heights. I'm going to stay in Boyle Heights and do my part and help this community. I have been a teacher for 14 years. I love being a teacher. I love my program. This is a Chinese Mandarin immersion program. The majority of speak English. I will try my best to use as much Chinese as possible in the class. They just like a sponge and they just absorb like information quickly. I know they understand what I say. They pause a little for the Chinese vocabularies, but I see they're trying to say it in Chinese. So that just brightened my day. My biggest challenge of the day is translating all the materials, all the curriculum into Chinese. Learning Mandarin is important because when the students grow up, when, if they know how to speak Chinese, then they have like a better or easier communication with the Chinese market. Fiana is special because she's a passionate teacher. She's charismatic, she's creative. When you walk into the classroom, immediately you feel the warmth. I think I still have the same passion as 14 years ago. I don't see myself do any other jobs. I don't see myself working in any other field. I love the smile on my children's face. To me, that's very rewarding. Any preschool teacher has to come with a passion. I sing to them, I talk to them, I read books to them. Anybody tell me what ball that is? A TV ball! My kids teach me first to be patient, to listen to them, to understand that each child is unique. I was born with a genetic kidney disease. It's called polycystic kidney disease. Eventually the cysts take over the kidney and your kidney will fail. By 2014, I found out that my kidney has decreased its function to 5%, and that's when I started needing to find a living donor. When I found out Lucy and I were a perfect match, there's no question to donate. If you could save a life and you're healthy, I don't know why anybody wouldn't do it. She is a fantastic person. She is a fantastic teacher. You know, she has so much life. I feel like she was passionate before. I don't think anything's going to hold her back now. I have to say, she's a sister that I never had. When I think about having received another healthy kidney, it's, it's still overwhelming. It gave me a new perspective on life. If I can't live a healthy life, I wanted to offer more of myself to the children that who will come across in my classroom. One of the reasons why these parents are so loving to me I see their kids as my own kids. I'm able to have children, but 50% I will give my disease to my kids, and there's no cure for PKD. I choose not to have kids because I have 48 kids in my family, and I have loved each one of them as my own. They're like my family, and that means the world to me. <laughs>